where most of the young people are running from it and wouldn't want to speak about it. But when we get such an opportunity, it is time that we speak in length to make sure that we kill the virus of tribalism in our society. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege as it is an honor to be part of this well-regarded public lecturer covering a topical issue in Namibia at the moment. My gratitude goes to the, to the Polytechnic of Namibia for extending this invitation to me. I must add that I am delighted that a prominent public institution has seen it fit to include me into the program. This kind of invitation underscores the salutary point that the diverse population of Namibia and its international friends are joined at the common hip in the search for a peaceful nation in a spirit of reconciliation as the government is bent at accepting diversity and ethnicities. Just as the topic indicates, I hope to share random thoughts of ethnicity and tribalism, pointing out the, pros the prospects and challenges for peace, prosperity, and nation building by giving a few random examples and debating what implications our ethnicity and diverse arrangements hold for common good and for peace, prosperity, and nation building in particular. Being a youth representative and a political oriented person, I may have to confront some of the issues I raise in political and socioeconomic perspective. It is therefore not inappropriate to observe that more none of the remarks I here make are reflective of my likely future posture. I am doing no, I'm doing no more than joining the mass of academic and political discourse on the intractable questions in ethnicity and tribalism, prospects and challenges for peace, prosperity, and nation building. Ethnicity is belonging to a certain social group that shares common cultural tradition. Tribalism is known as the possession of a strong ethnic identity or cultural belief that separates oneself as part of a group from members of another group. It can be any type of group, ladies and gentlemen, for example, Catholic versus Lutherans. Tribalism basically is a strong <coughs> loyalty to one's tribe, party, or group. From the above definitions, ladies and gentlemen, we can see that an acceptance of ethnicity in a proper way brings the understanding of diversity and the acceptance of the other as peace and nation building. On the other hand, ethnic differences can bring national disintegration. The disintegration of India into Pakistan and Bangladesh is another example where ethnic differences added by geographic distance tore apart a post-colonial state. The Rwandan genocide as well as the separation of South Sudan from Sudan and the regular problems experienced by the two countries right now can, can also be related to a lack of ethnic, religious, or racial cohesion within the nations mentioned. It has often proved, ladies and gentlemen, difficult to unite states with similar ethnic but different colonial backgrounds. Tribalism on the other side is wrong. It brings division in many forms 
and once extremely divided comes violence. And after violence, you get nothing but a terrible experience that will be difficult to depart from the country's history and it will be difficult or will never be able to forgive each other. We as the young people do not encourage tribalism in all its manifestations. We as the young youth, we have to believe and to know that we have to defeat tribalism in all sectors that we are involving ourselves. This is why Jakaya Kikwete, the president of Tanzania said, the people who sow seeds of discord by preaching tribalism, racism, and religious misunderstanding should find another place to go. We the youth agree with forward-looking leaders like this who want peace and prosperity. We cannot accept, ladies and gentlemen, the extremes of tribalism which fueled the Kenyan bloodbath after elections last time. We cannot accept a situation where we cannot live side by side and eat around the same table. Nation building refers to the process of constructing or structuring a national identity using the power of the state. This is process aims at the implication, the implication of the people within the state so that it remains politically stable and viable on the long run. Ladies and gentlemen, nation building can involve the use of propaganda or major infrastructural development to foster social harmony and economic growth. Tribalism, as regarded by Stanley Crude, tribalism is the father of racism. We emulate the government of Namibia for passing the Prohibition of Racial Discrimination Act 26 of 1991, which, as its title shows, prohibits racism and discrimination. This explains why the prevention of a recurrence of the type of racism and its associated practices which prevailed prior to independence in this country was a sufficiently significant object to warrant a limitation on the rights well established in Article 21, one of the Namibian nation. Tribalism has great potential for the creation of an environment where discrimination is out of control. This counters or goes against all nation building efforts. You have to look at the history of the Middle East and the Southeast Asia. It has been one of failure and frustrations of tribalism. Ethnic discrimination in tribalism is sometimes something that you can hear from far and not experience it. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, almost with my conclusion, once being discriminated, you will feel humiliated and become a hopeless individual. This fact will make you have so many questions on whether you have people or not on your side. I have been a student leader in a very diverse environment, the University of Namibia. I have seen that the leadership sometimes we give up because of tribalism and discrimination. But let us understand that Barack Obama today is in the White House. So you don't have to give up because of being discriminated. Sometimes when people fail to compete, they choose an option of playing tribalism and discrimination. You don't have to limit yourself in a certain ethnic group. You need to understand that you need people to, from different groups to make you succeed. In an environment where Namibia is busy building a peaceful nation, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage the youth and their leaders not take discrimination as a challenge, but as an opportunity to make, to make them work hard 
move with those who want to move with them and forget about those with hidden agendas. As a part of youth, you wouldn't want to experience terrible things that other countries are experiencing and continue experiencing in Africa, things which have made nation building very difficult for them. Ladies and gentlemen, if my conclusion, the current youth should not be blamed for the negativities of ethnicity and tribalism. Our parents and ancestors are the ones to be blamed because we are learning this in our household at a very young stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is difficult, for instance, for me, when I grow up, to adapt to something else. Because my parents used to tell me you should hang around with so and so because they are from so and so tribe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is wrong. It is difficult for me to go sometimes and marry the person that I want from a specific ethnic group because my mother or my father keep on telling me that you shouldn't bring us a so and so tribe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I get a tribe that my mother or my father do not want, I would choose not to take the guy home until I get a tribe that my father and my mother will be happy with. We need to change this behavior in a household. We may also differ in politics, but that should not detract us from building our nations. This explains why President Robert Mugabe this year, in relation to the divided unity government, he said, it is important to our people that we may differ politically, religiously, even ethnically, differ in various ways, but we are all Zimbabweans, and that is that that is what accounts much more than anything else. We have to overcome this as much as we can. Before we think of conflict resolution in Africa, let us first identify the issues of ethnicity. Countries such as Nigeria, Congo Dia, Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Sudan, Somalia, Rwanda, and Burundi. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude. Because when you give young people platforms, this is what we expect. <laughs> um, these countries have suffered decades of misrule and conflicts due to an ad inadequate understanding of ethnicity and the management of ethnic relations. Let me conclude once again with another remark from the founding president. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the founding president at the occasion of the annual Omagongo Cultural Festival in Oangwana region in 2010, on the 27th March, he said, and I quote him in length, tribalism is not part of our cultural heritage, but a tool of colonial oppression in order to perpetrate division, ignorance, and underdevelopment in our country and wider African continent. Here in our country, we have seen how our beloved motherland was torn apart into the so-called homeland. It was for that reason that the Sopo Party government initiated the policy of national reconciliation so that we can build a strong and united nation under the motto, One Namibia, One Nation. We must continue to, to striving. We must continue striving to promote unity in diversity and thereby promote unity, peace and unity among all Namibians, irrespective of their colors, race, places of origin. I cannot continue anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Um, Emmanuel, it's your time so that uh, you are again.